So this basketball trainer and facility owner wrote this book. Look at the title of this book. <laughs> I love it. I, I didn't read it. I didn't even read what it might have been about. I'm guessing that it's either, uh, you know, things that parents do to make their kids bad or, you know, things they're doing wrong and why your kid isn't excelling or whatever, you know, blaming the parent for bad kids. Um, sometimes your kids just ain't good. You know, I think that's a little unfair. Sometimes your kid ain't good. But then again, it's probably still a, is a parent's fault because they're not good because your genetics are trash. So whether whether <laughs> whether you're hindering them with your bad teachings or pushing them too hard or whatever, or they just ain't got it because you ain't got it, yeah, it probably is your fault. It probably is your fault. I think the most important thing as a sports parent is just being able to accept that your kid is trash. I think that's the hardest part, especially for dads. I see it all the time. Like they, I've seen dads push their kids to be something that they're just not capable of being okay they're just not and people like to say you can do whatever you want to do that is a lie and we need to stop pushing that lie you can be whatever you want no you can't no you can't you i will never be lebron james ever i could never have been lebron james sometimes you need genetics you need luck you need certain things that you just don't possess stop lying to kids telling them they can do whatever they want no 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 it's not true you just, just take it dads all right, you just got to accept it. It is what it is. Don't be the reason your kid is trash, even though, as I'm talking about, you're probably the reason your kid is trash. So this book should be a bestseller. I don't know what's in it, but I kind of want to read it. <laughs> I don't want to read it. Seems, seems legit.